take an economic view, the first principle of Scaled Agile Framework. I do believe the scaledagileframework.com has the most comprehensive information related to this principle as well, but here I am sharing my view and you may want to look at both the information to make best use of, of ideas which I am sharing with you. Now, you might be wondering, it's a very simple thing. Everybody should be taking an economic view. We are working in a product space or in a project space. We want to maximize the economic benefit. Sometimes we want to reduce costs, sometimes we generate more profit, and that's why we are doing the work. So it's a common thing. Why should someone ignore economic view? Now let's look at what might people end up doing when they are not taking economy, what possible view they may take. Some of us might be taking process view. We, when we have a decision to make, we look at what is process recommending and we just follow the process. Now, we may want to ask ourselves, is in a given context or a given day, is it right thing to do economically or we should do something different in order to make a more economic benefits, process view. The another counter view which we may take is a habit view. You may develop over a period of time, your project team, your development team, your product team may end up doing things in a particular way. And they start keep doing it without questioning that particular way. And that may become a habit, which might be a good thing to do uh, six months ago, but now things has changed, but their habit is not changing. So some of the team members or the group of the teams might be taking a habit view rather than an economic view. Another possibility of not taking an economic view is an emotional view. So emotionally, some of the people who are leading the initiative believe that this is the best thing to do. This is the best framework to work on. This is the best approach to work on and let's do it yeah, because we know this is the best and we are kind of emotionally committed to it. So what is reminded when we are looking at Scale Agile Framework is that better in a product development space, in a solutioning space, you take an economic view. Now, you might be wondering how to take an economic view. So it's like, as a group, we need to have some agreement on how do we evaluate various economic parameters. Say, how do we evaluate when we need to take a trade-off between time to market over a risk? or a time to market over a cost and risk altogether. So there could be multiple competitive economic parameters which needs to be considered in order to identify what should be the optimum thing we should be doing at a given point in time. You may face a challenge where you need to evaluate, should we innovate more before we deliver to the customer because the current solution may not be looking the one which we wanted to develop or should we stop here and say, this is what it is, let's go to the customer and deliver what he wanted to get out of it. Now, how do you make decision? Yeah, we may have a default understanding, let's go it early, but yeah, there is a possibility going early may, 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 may result into missing that particular innovation which could have been done in that particular month. So again, the situation and the context will define it. We cannot have a rule for doing it A or doing it B. And the safe principle reminds us the respective stakeholder, the respective people, whenever they are making decisions, whenever they are looking at a various parameter, better they take those economic consideration in account. That's the, the essence of it. Now, you are a scrum master. What probably you will do when you are taking an economic view? Whenever you are working with your team, they might be evaluating, should we fix this particular defect now or should we postpone it for the next iteration? Now, again, an economic view. There is a cost associated with fixing it now. There is a cost associated with, with doing it later. There's a risk associated with doing it later. There could be a benefit associated with doing it later as well, but we need to consider both the option. Usually various studies recommends that the cost of fixing a defect starts increasing exponentially as you start delaying the fix of, of that particular defect because people need to understand, learn, and re, uh, 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 con the context has to be understood again before you fix that particular uh, defect. So this is how a scrum master in the, the, in the team discussions, in the planning discussion, in the retrospective discussions may promote the idea of taking an economic view for various decisions. It could be a decisions related to validating something. It could be a decision related to merging the codes rather than delaying it for a, uh, another uh, iteration. So that's a possible way the Scrum Master may look into this particular principle and implement it. 
if you are in a product management space, you might be applying this principle when you are sequencing your job. These are just some examples. There could be many, many such examples which you where you apply the economic view. So when you are sequencing various features and you are identifying which feature should go first, which feature should go later, you may want to take an again an economic view by understanding what is the benefit of, of that particular feature, what is the cost associated with that particular feature, what is the risk of doing something early, what is the risk of delaying something, and what is the, the benefit of doing enabler this particular uh, 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 time or delaying an enabler for the another month, we need to take all those discussion with the help of economic view. Usually, uh, you need to come up with a kind of a decision-making model, which helps you in quantifying various key economic parameter. And that quantification might be done with the help of the key stakeholder, the team members who may know about that particular area well. There is a one kind of a quantification model which is presented in scaled agile framework, which is related to prioritization, WSJF. So in, in some of the other areas, you might end up uh, learning about WSJF. We do have a, a video talking about WSJF as well. So I kind of summarize again. The first principle is reminding us, look at the economic impacts of your decisions. Look at various parameters, which might be uh, playing their own role in, in a given problem, identify what is an impact of those variables and find an optimum solution for the benefit of your product as well as your organization. Take an economic view.